Hey everybody, it's Brandon here from betteretteverything.info again. And this is part 5 of my AutoCAD basic series. In this video we're going to cover grids, snap, O-snaps, and tracking. Um, don't worry if you don't know what those are, I'll explain as we go. Um, they all help in the drawing process and you'll see why right now. So we're going to start off with grids. Uh, as you can see in the background here, I've got the grid turned on and it's these lines both vertical and horizontal and then the smaller minor lines in between uh, that make up the grid. You can turn the grid on and off by hitting the F7 key or down here by clicking the picture of the grid. Uh, so there you go. It's off and on. And that's the F7 key to do that. Uh, to modify your grid you right click down here and just click settings and that brings up your grid options menu. On the right are all the options for under grid. Uh, you've got a few options like whether or not it uh, shows in 2D model space, block editor, sheet layout. Uh, and then here is where you'll probably be changing things if you do, uh, is the grid spacing. Here you can change how far apart each of these small lines is from the next. Uh, right now they're just set to one unit. So if we change each of these to 10, 10 units each, and put a major line at every, say, 20, it's really going to change the look. It's going to be uh, a lot bigger and blocky. So we're going to hit OK here. And there you go. As you can see, these are the little lines. And down here, there's a vertical, here's a vertical, and here's the major horizontals. So we just fiddled around with that. Uh, to change it back, just right click down here, settings. And we're going to put them both back down to 1 and five for the major lines. And there you go. That's grids. And remember it's F7 to turn it on and off or click down here the little icon. Uh, next up we're gonna do snap. Uh, there's two different types of snap uh, down on this menu here. The first one is snap mode which when you turn on will lock the uh, the mouse to the grid pattern or whatever pattern you've got it set up to. Right now it's set up it'll snap every 0.5 of a unit. So if we set this to match the major lines, which over here you can see are set at 5, 5 or 5 on the snap mode, if you hit OK, now you hit PL for polyline, just to test this out, you can see that my cursor will only lock to the major lines. So you can see that, it's kind of bouncing around. So if I click here, I can only choose major intersections to draw. This will keep things uh, locked to your grid size that you set up. Again, you go right click on the snap button here, it's the second one in from the left to bring up the settings and you can change that to whatever you'd like. I'll just leave it at one for now. Uh, next up we've got O snaps. That stands for object snap and that's this one here. It is the sixth one in from the left and it's F3 to turn this one on or off. Um, if you turn it on, it will, if you hit P, L to bring up the line command, it, see that yellow box there that hit at the, uh, it snaps me to an endpoint. There and there. And there's another one. It's all the endpoints of each of the lines. Object snap snaps your line to the end point or midpoint or whatever you've got set to of another line object. And if you right click on the object snap button here and you go settings, you can choose just what it will snap to. Right now it's set to end point, center, quadrant, intersection, extension. You can choose which of these you'd like it to snap to. And I can go over these uh, in a later video, but the defaults are good usually. I like to have a uh, midpoint on so it'll snap to the center of lines. And node is uh, nice if you're working with circles or uh, radius objects. Uh, again, I'll demo this. So L, enter for line. And now that I've turned on middle, it'll snap to this midpoint of these lines. So, as you can see, I can draw here. And there's a midpoint over here. And back to that midpoint. Hit enter to end your command. And there you go. Uh, next up, we got polar tracking. And that's F10 to bring polar tracking up. 
which is down here. It is the fifth one, fifth one from the left. There, I've turned it on. And this will, while you're drawing a line, I'll bring up the line command. There's L. Say you start a line here, which we are snapping to. Polar tracking, see that dotted line there? It gives you guidelines at specified angles. So this one's at uh, zero degrees. This one down here at 90. This one at 180. And then again at uh, 270. So you can set this to guide you along any angle you'd like. And that's down here under polar tracking. If you right click from this list right here, you can choose the more common ones. So say you want it to snap at every 45 degrees. I'm going to type L, bring up the line command. And from here, now it's snapping at 45 degrees, 0, the next 45 there. There's another one up here. See? So you can easily draw exactly 45 degree lines. There you go. Pretty simple. Uh, you can also change that to 15 degrees. There you go. Bring up the line command again. And now you can see it's every 15 degrees, it'll shoot a little line there so you can track along it. Uh, again, that's turned on and off by F10. And if you're following, the O snaps are F3 for their quick command. Snap is F9. And the grid is F7. And there you have it. There's today's video. Don't forget to check the website at betteratteverything.info and leave a comment. Thank you.